He grab, he dab, but most importantly, he grab. What the fuck is a grappler? This the fuck is a gra- Ah, oh, shit, wrong picture. This the fuck is a grappler. That's it, that's the video. Newbies, listen up. Veteran players, show this to your newcomer friends and stick around for the fun. Why the fuck should you play a grappler? Fucking damage, baby. Now don't get me wrong. I was a waifu player at first. I started with Elfelt and Guilty Gear, Kazumi in Tekken 7, and Guile in Street Fighter 5. But once I saw that damage on grapplers, ooh, I was sold. Playing a grappler is a great way to learn fighting games. It teaches you how to be patient, react to your opponent's tendencies, and how to weigh risk versus reward. What the fuck do they do? How the fuck do they do it? Grapplers do what their name says. They grapple, as in throw. The general idea of a grappler is get close, give hug. It's pretty simple. But simple does not mean stupid. Every character in fighting games has a throw, but grapplers have command, command throws, throws, which are just like normal throw, but they do more damage and have cool animations in their command here. Now, people don't like playing against grapplers. They're fucking big and scary, and getting grabbed makes your opponent feel helpless. There's a stigma in the FGC that if you play a big boy, you're dumb, and that's just not true. But enough about that. Let's get back to talking about grapplers. Grapplers. Others argue that grapplers are the hardest and that you have to be a real student of fighting games to play them well. The truth is somewhere in the middle because far away you have to guess right and make some reads to get in. And not being close to the opponent feels like this. What am I doing? Do I even in my enjoy life? this game? Will I be alone? Does Bruno forever? Mars is gay? Does life have meaning? But as soon as you get in. <laughs> It's game time. What game? The guessing game. Time for the guessing game, baby. Which door is it gonna be? Attack, throw, command throw? Uh, uh, throw? Oh, that's unfortunate. They're all command throw. They're always command throw. Now to the how. You have to be patient to play Grappler. Their big bodies make it easier to get hit, and their low mobility makes getting from here to here feel like the fucking beach scene from Saving Private Ryan. And if you're impatient, the only thing you'll be grappling with is depression. Grapplers are gambly, and inherently so. They get more health because they're prone to getting hit since they have to take more risks to run their game plan. Larger hitboxes make punishing the grappler for making the wrong decision more consistent and help balance out the damage and repeatability of their game plans. Playing a character whose game plan revolves around a command throw means that you have to know a lot about what the other characters do and which parts of what they do can be punished with your grappler move. Don't play a grappler if you're impatient don't like taking risks, are a sane human being, and you're not willing to commit some hours up front learning some character specifics. Do play a grappler if you like big damage, you can be patient, but take calculated risks, and you're willing to learn a lot of matchup specifics. Finally, how to beat a grappler. Zone well and try not to let them in if you can avoid it. If they do get in, pay attention to their throw habits. And if you can, get out to a safe distance and then approach on your own terms. As always, thank you for watching. Quick plug for some friends, go check out Valhalla Days and Shirt on Twitch and YouTube. Valhalla Days does beginner teaching every Friday and Shirt is all around an awesome guy. I'm around their lobbies a lot too, so come hang out. And thank you all for the support this year. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. There's a lot more to come in 2021. I have plans to stream way more and maybe get some tournaments going if we can. And of course, I'll still be releasing new videos. Thank you all and have a fantastic new year.